hello guys in this video we are going to discuss the scene hydroxylation of alkenes suppose we want to transform this cis to butene into its corresponding 1 2 diol which is seen in nature that is the two hydroxyl groups after the reaction will be in the seen relationship with each other that is these two OH groups will be in the same side of this molecule. So for this type of transformations, that is the scene hydroxylations, two common reagents are there. First is the osmium tetroxide in aqueous alcoholic solutions. The alcohols which are used are generally tertiary butanol which does not have any alpha hydrogen because if there is any alpha hydrogen the alcohol will be oxidized by this osmium tetroxide. Another reagent is alkaline k manophore solution. Here also we can use any alcohol like tertiary butanol. So why the alcohol is necessary? It is necessary because the alkenes are not soluble in aqueous medium due to their hydrophobic nature. So that's why to make the overall reaction mixture homogeneous, we need some co-solvent, organic co-solvent during the reaction in order to solubilize our organic compounds in the reaction mixture. So what will be? the reaction mechanism okay here the products will be in both case the products will be seen one two diols and here also seen one two diol will be our product so it is a very straightforward reaction it is and it is widely these two reactions are very widely used in organic chemistry to produce these types of 1 2 diols so now we will go into the mechanism one by one okay so since this alkene is electron rich in nature these two methyl groups will donate some electron cloud into this pi orbital system and thereby it will essentially behave as a nucleophile. So the oct oxidants which are osmium tetroxide and potassium permanganate will essentially behave as electrophiles during the reaction. So first let us consider the reaction with osmium tetroxide in aqueous medium. So in the first step there will be a formation of osmate ester. If we draw the intermediate in sawhorse projection formula then it will be easy for us to grasp the mechanism. So first there will be formation of this osmet ester so how the ester will form we can draw a reasonable curve arrow notation for this step which is the initial nucleophilic attack by this double bond to this oxygen then this osmium oxygen bond will break and another oxygen will form a carbon oxygen single bond and thereby this osmate ester will form and after that it will undergo a nucleophilic attack by the water molecule present in the system so the water molecule will essentially attack the osmium center
and we will eventually get this intermediate which will then be immediately attacked by another molecule of water in the osmium center and this oxygen osmium bond will then break and the final product which is the 1,2 diol will form. Okay, so here we have to consider some important things regarding this syn hydroxylation when osmium tetroxide is actually used. So osmium tetroxide, first of all, it is very costly. And secondly, it is highly toxic in nature. So we cannot use a very high quantity of osmium tetroxide during the reaction. So one solution to this problem is we can use it in a catalytic amount. But if we use it in a catalytic amount, then after the reaction, here you can see that after this reaction is completed, osmium is reduced into this acid. where the oxidation state is now reduced by plus 2. So it cannot act as the oxidizing agent again. So to oxidize it, we have to introduce hydrogen peroxide as the oxidant. So it will then reoxidize this acid into the osmium tetroxide and then it can perform the oxidation steps again. So when we, we use the osmium tetroxide in catalytic quantity, then we have to use the hydrogen peroxide in large excess. So this is a very interesting thing about this reaction. So let us consider the second reaction, which is the alkaline permanganate promoted syn hydroxylation. So we will consider the same alkene and the mechanism will be exactly similar. So this is our permanganate. So the, here also the first step will be the formation of the permanganic ester. So the formation of permanganic ester will occur when this double bond will attack as a nucleophile to this oxygen atom and then this manganese oxygen double bond will break and this manganese oxygen bond after dissociating will form a carbon oxygen single bond and this intermediate will form. which is a manganic ester. So it will then undergo a nucleophilic attack by the water molecules present in the system. So first attack will take place in the manganese center, which will lead to the breaking of one manganese oxygen bond and formation of this intermediate will take place. Then another molecule of water will attack and the final, the remaining manganese oxygen bond will break.
so as we know manganese salts are very cheap so we can use it in a stoichiometric amount so here is no problem like the osmium tetroxide problem we can use it in a excess amount and one important thing is that if we use it in a very much excess amount then after the formation of this one two diol it will eventually undergo further oxidation and thereby provide this aldehydes by a breaking of this carbon carbon bond during the oxidation steps so we have to be careful about that we cannot use a large excess of potassium permanganate during the reaction another interesting thing is that the oxygen atoms you can see from this mechanism that the oxygen atoms are coming from the permanganate as well as in this case the oxygen atoms are coming from the osmium tetroxide which is verified by isotopic labeling if we label the oxygen atoms of osmium tetroxide and also the oxygen atoms of potassium permanganate and then we perform this syn hydroxylation reactions then we can eventually confirm that the final product contains the isotopically labeled oxygen atoms so it verifies that the oxygen atom are coming from our oxidizing agents which are osmium tetroxide and potassium permanganate so this is the mechanism of the syn hydroxylation using osmium tetroxide and potassium permanganate i hope you have liked this video if this video is helpful towards you then please subscribe to this channel it will encourage me to produce more videos thank you for watching this video see you in the next video